Well, with 15 minutes left before uh, noon on Monday, August 24th, we begin uh, the vlog for the 24th. And you see time is shifting. It's, there is never really... There is some consistency, but not a lot. <laughs> and so this is the way we, we work. Um, I finished up uh, uh, my meditation. Uh, I had something to eat. Did some shopping. Online, of course, I do all my shopping online. Uh, went over to my Instagram page at Kawhi, uh, kawaiiteahouse.com. I'll, I'll insert the picture here. Uh, that's uh, my Instagram page. I'm typically I'm, I'm online at Cyborg Alpha, but I have my own little. Uh, Play area called on Instagram called uh, Kawaii Tea House TV. Kawaii Tea Kawaii Tea House. It is my place where I hang out a lot. Apparently, I am a weeb, uh, uh, as the uh, term goes. Uh, I spend a lot of time in anime cartoons. Uh, I see the world fundamentally differently than most people do. Uh, this does not necessarily mean I see things in a perspective that the standard world does. Uh, I, <laughs> even though I have crossovers into various areas, that does not necessarily mean I take on the area entirely. Uh, I pick and choose what I want. That's, that's basically the thing. Uh, and so sometimes I will have some aspects of one thing, and other, other aspects of another. Uh, but nothing entirely. I, I do not conform to any particular ideal or uh, or type, so that I can be easily categorized. Uh, I always move off into other directions, other uh, genres, and so on and so forth, uh, as I see fit. If something interests me, I'll go over and then take a look at it. Uh, if I like it, I'll, I'll I'll continue looking at more of it. Otherwise, I'll move on to something else that, that maybe maybe interests me. You know, or I'll just sort of, sort of just simply do something known as a perusing, just sort of walk around picking up and looking at different things, not with not with no specific purpose in mind. I mean, this is actually how I started my research. Is that uh, they, there's a concept in quantum mechanics known as the uh, random walk. I said, well, let's try that out and see how it works. <laughs> You now, 30 years later, here we are. Uh, and the thing is, is that the random walk keeps you in, in addition to uh, the infinite universe and infinite knowledge, it keeps you in between years, uh, whether you like it or not. So I do have an opportunity to go, I have had an opportunity to go back and rethink about how I want to do my tween years uh, because I'm stuck there forever. This, 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 I, there is, in an infinite universe, infinite knowledge. You never move forward from the point of an observation, uh, an observationalist, and your point there as an observationalist is, is I said the the scale equivalency is basically we are in middle school. It's a tween for life, and I actually that's where I feel most comfortable. I feel happiest there, and I get this is kind of what makes me weep towards the anime and and and, and cartoons and so on and so forth. But the thing is. The cartoons and anime that I choose are more along the lines of what would be age appropriate for a tween anyway. So that's, I don't like the other stuff. I, the, the other stuff just doesn't appeal to me. What call the more adult, the more mature, the mature stuff that simply doesn't appeal to me uh, in any way, sense, or form. So I simply stick with what the, what, what the tweens are doing. And I tend to be uh, more on the girl side of things in terms of the likes and dislikes. Uh, than uh, the way, uh, say, a tween guy would behave. So, in terms of what they like and dislike. So that's kind of how I sort of approach things. Uh, I did do so. I did do some shopping. I'm looking at some. Uh, I don't want to get security cameras for security purposes. I want to get it for purposes of filming weather. And I found two security cameras that I like. I'm looking at how to, how to set them up. And then I'll go from there to sort of see how I'm going to operate them. And add them into my place. So that's going to be the next project, the next challenge is adding the security cameras, and then filming the uh, the basically the weather footage, the uh, atmosphere physics footage, 
uh, from there. So it, it basically gives me, uh, like I have here on my observatory here, I have access to particular uh, observational points. I put these points together, it produces an observatory that allows me to do, to do observational work. And that's kind of what I want to do. It, it, it will sort of give me a chance, let's say it's raining outside, or there's a massive thunderstorm. I can't really sit outside the way I sit outside uh, if it's thundering and lightning and, and there's a pouring storm out there. But with a, well, with a waterproof, uh, a weatherproof uh, security camera, I can. So it's not, it's not going to be an issue. And it has uh, room for, uh, a, 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 I think, a 64 gigabyte uh, memory card. So I have a chance to sort of record to something. And then I can offload it onto my network, so via the, via the phone. So it, it, it does provide a, a good option for filming. It's 1080p, so uh, there won't be any sort of quality setback. There's good sound on there. Uh, so it, it, it does present a good option for uh, observational work. So we'll see how that ends up working out. Uh, but that's a project I think maybe, I, I think it's probably going to get done sometime mid-October, November. That, I, but you do plan out. You have to plan out for these things. So... And that's because uh, I've been doing all my food shopping online. And because I'm not buy doing these so-called impulse buys, uh, and the, the impulse buys are the things that you sort of flash at you in the aisle. Oh, this is interesting. You put it in your cart. And, you end, and this we see all the, all the, all the, YouTube, sh the YouTube shoppers, they end up buying more than they need. They go in for one set of things, and they come up with something else entirely different. That's the impulse buy. Without the impulse buy, I have a lot more money finances in order to get other stuff so I can get more stuff done so that's the the goal that's the the, the target uh, it's about uh, 5 30 in the morning on Tuesday August 25th and we're ending the vlog tonight or, you know, well, in the morning, <laughs> tonight, because I'm going to be taking another break for bed soon. Uh, <laughs> so it's the end of the vlog. No uh, YouTube stroll today either. Uh, I, I spent the day pretty much in uh, uh, either doing meditation or a deep dive research. Uh, deep dive research is exhausting because it's hours at a time. This was about two, three hours in length. It was it. It is for in some ways gaming, but the gaming, uh, nerd gaming, crosses over into uh, the study, the research as well. So one doesn't necessarily exclude the other. So when you're gaming as a nerd, you're not necessarily excluding uh, the research that uh, you typically do. It's actually it incorporates a large chunk of it, and it pushes you into new avenues that maybe you didn't think about before. And this is kind of the issue when you're doing uh, research is that you really do have to keep an open mind in terms of where you're going to go for research, what you're going to look at. And then the, sec the second leg of it is, uh, is as you're going through this, is how, you're, how are you going to present what you found? So, oh, now you can see the fatigue is in there. It's, uh, um, I can't keep my eyes open too well, so <laughs> sorry for that. Um, and I keep looking over to the right where or I think the camera should be, but it's not the cameras over to the left there. Uh, so uh, it doesn't always it, it it doesn't it doesn't appear that I'm always that that I'm sort of uh, 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 focusing on people. But at this point in time, I, my I can't keep my eyes open, so <laughs> it's kind of the way it goes. Uh, it's a deep dive research. And that's why I call it deep dive because you're in there for a long time. It's like it's like video gaming. Once you start looking for something, and you are hit what we call the, the mother load or a good chunk of information, and it leads you to other good information, you keep going. It, 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 it's there's an obsession behind just like video like like video like like gaming. It's like oh five more minutes or five more minutes. And, before the five minutes are up, because 
right? You intended it to be short. You didn't expect, you didn't expect to go and do the deep dive research. And this is what happens is that once you begin, it's very difficult to stop. There's there is a drive to continue on. And that's why you call it a deep dive research because you're gone for hours at a time. Uh, and, but it feels like you've been gone when you come back and it feels like you've been gone only for five minutes and it just knocks you out. It, it, it leaves you kind of dazed uh, in the sort of the sense of thing. But I'm back outside again. I've, I've been, this is the second or third time I've been outside sitting today. Uh, earlier, well, I have. Uh, <laughs> in, in, in the in the uh, in the uh, light of Big Bang Theory, the uh, TV show, I have a group of Asian girls across uh, across the uh, across the way from me. Uh, on the other side of the camera is another building. Actually, that's where the security lights are that provide the light for the filming. And uh, there's a dance school, a Chinese dance school there. And this is one thing I gotta say about you know, uh, the there is a view uh, on both sides of the aisle between you know, particularly with the European view of things, that don't like the Chinese, that don't like Asians. And it's really unfortunate because uh, when I hear from people about, about uh, against the Asian, I'm I'm, I'm Asian, I'm Pan Asian. Uh, is they're not in the community. They have no clue what's going on in the community. So they don't necessarily understand who the Chinese are, who the Asians are. Uh, they're a fundamentally different group of people than you would expect. Uh, but they're also quiet to themselves. They don't, they don't bother people outside their own community, typically. And this is kind of the thing, this is sort of where I come from it's in terms of my independence, is that you know, as, as much as people may be racist against the Asians, they, they're equally as racist against the white people. They don't want the kids associating with people who aren't Asian. <laughs> so I guess the feeling is mutual. So I guess that's why there isn't necessarily the huge Asian movement, you know, racist movement, the way you would have with blacks or, 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 or uh, what you call African Americans. is because uh, uh, many of the Asians just simply don't want to be included. They don't care about it. They don't. They, they don't feel it that affects them, or or bothers them in any particular way, because they don't want to be part of the white community. And this is sort of where where I come with this. Is I come into this. I'm more of an independent. I don't necessarily be, need to belong to a group. I am a a, a rabid nonconformist. Uh, I often find myself when I'm in part of any group, doing something that's incorrect and being sort of kicked out of the group because you're not supposed to be doing that in here. We are a, and they fill in the blank as to whatever group they are, and we only do this. And I think it's, I don't, this is, it wasn't that I was intending to offend people, it was just, it happens. It, it, and it's because I like something that they considered to be not part of their group, not part of their social standards. And every group has a social standard. And the thing is, unless you conform to that particular, these particular social standards, uh, then you're not part of the group. And this is my problem. It's I've never been able to conform to all the different, uh, you know, rules and regulations of social behavior that I'm expected of. And so, uh, more often than not, I find myself by myself or, 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 or sort of on the edge of things looking in. But that's, that, 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 for me, that doesn't present, present the problem. It never has. Uh, I've always been independent, independent mind, and that's kind of the way things go for me. But as I said, it doesn't matter how people react to me, or, or even how much. And in some cases, I'm feeling. At the end of the day, it's uh, no refunds. And that's what I'm saying. And, and, and empty platitudes like "you are worth" and talking myself in the mirror and saying these so-called positive affirmations doesn't do anything. It's a waste of time. You just move forward. There are some days where you have to take a break and, you know, sleep a little bit more. But otherwise, you know, no refunds. <laughs>